The other day I was hanging out with a couple from my parish and they looked like physically fit people. So I said to the lady, what do you do for exercise? And she said, oh, I'm getting ready to run the Boston Marathon. And I said, have you done that before? And she said, yeah, I've done it many times. So I turned to her husband and I was thinking, well, he's not going to be able to hold a candle to that. And I said, what do you do for fitness? And he said, well, uh, I do triathlons. I do Ironman triathlons. So I asked him to describe what that is. I had kind of forgotten. So here's what you do in a triathlon. You, you like swim like t over two miles and then you, you bike over 120 miles. And then when you're done riding the bike, you proceed to run a marathon. This couple was on my mind not long ago when I, when I got to preach on the reading of um, Jesus saying, uh, the greatest law is to love God with your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole strength. Holiness, you know, which is also known as loving God, is a lot like physical health. It's like fitness. It, 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 it doesn't do away with everything else in your life. It restructures everything around a kind of coherent center. So think about training for a triathlon or Boston Marathon. If you just, I thought to myself, if I just decided to do that, and I, I, I'm not sure I will, I probably won't, but let's just say I did, I thought, think of all the things in my life that would just get better immediately. My, if I'm training for a marathon or a triathlon, all of a sudden my diet gets better. My sleeping habits get better. Um, my, my, I start to hang out with people who are into those things, and so I'm, I'm going to get more support in uh, my dedication to uh, health and, and fitness. So that's a great analogy, I think, for holiness, for love, love, for love for God. It's like being a spiritual athlete, to use the language of St. Paul. We should get excited about loving God and loving our neighbor in light of that great commandment that Jesus gives us with, with the kind of passion that I saw in that couple that loves uh, marathons and loves doing triathlons. And what happens when we do that? Other things start to fall into place. As I start to make God the center pr priority of my life, now my other relationships, work, my hobbies, uh, all the other things I love now s start to kind of get in proper balance and proper order uh, around that, that great center. Have a great day, everybody.